It's springtime in New York City, and so I took my iPad up onto New York City's Highline Park to capture a cityscape. I'm working with the app Procreate, and I'm using its layers feature to create my sketch in stages. First, I block out my drawing loosely on a bottom layer using a broad, soft, charcoal-like stick. I'm not paying too much attention to all the people passing by, and I'll focus on them later. Once I get the general shapes of my composition blocked out, I start drawing loose lines to help create several of the architectural elements that stand out in this scene. I'm also going to loosely infer some of the trees and plantings that adorn the Chelsea Art District's Highline Park. I've got to be working up here for about two hours, and there's so many details to capture, but I'm going to limit my time on architecture to an hour, and then spend the other half of my time trying to capture some of the people walking around. That's the wonderful artistic challenge to doing a sketch in New York City. You're not a photographer, you're only trying to capture the feeling of the location, the vibe of the place. And you have to be very fast and loose to capture a bustling scene like this. At this point, I'm starting to notice the variety of people walking by and sitting on the benches around me. Remember, this is a two hour sketch compressed into a five minute video. I'm only taking mental snapshots of a person every 30 seconds or so. And I choose the ones who are seated to begin recording what I see as fast as possible. One of the neat things about Procreate's layers feature that makes it easier to do this is that I can create a new layer and use it to sketch out a figure much larger than I will use it eventually. This allows me to give the figure its general shape and some details without having to zoom in and adjust my pencil tip. Let's get the people in the far distance done quickly. Oops, I didn't like that said. Let's do that again. Here's an interesting looking artsy character walking by. I've seen plenty of those, but this gentleman's quite fashionable. Here's a photographer taking a snapshot off the high line to the street below. I've seen plenty of those guys too. Once I'm satisfied, I scale the figure back down to the proper size of my scene. Once that's done, I merge the layer I've just created with the layer underneath. Now that I've gotten my composition done and most of the details structurally in place, I'm going to darken my pencil dip and sharpen up the lines in all the right places. This will bring out the energy of the composition, all that human movement, all those powerful lines of perspective. There you go. Let's put a signature on that and call it a wrap. Thanks for joining me up here on the highlight. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or visit my website, thegreatnew.tv, to see more figurative artworks.